guys for being here this morning. It's good to see you all. Uh, what do you say, right? There are, there are some people who, as they go through life, they leave a trail, and their name's all over it, and you know they were there. And there are some people who, as they go through life, they leave a trail, and Jesus' name is all over it. And you know that God used them. And so, Steve, uh, Pastor Steve has been uh, a part of a trail through the district, and I was able to, to go through that, and, and I'll let him tell his story. Um, but we are so blessed to have him and his lovely wife, lovely wife here this morning. So uh, I'm not going to take any of his time because I'm eager to hear uh, what he has for us. So Pastor Stephen, come on forward. And let's welcome him, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The sun is shining. Yes. Doesn't matter whether the wind is blowing, the sun is shining, right? <laughs> Uh, I can handle the, I think, I can handle the cold weather some of the time. We've uh, lived all over the East Coast, and um, this has been a winter in a new house like we haven't seen winter for the last 15 years. And the reason for that winter is not because we moved there, but it's because God has a way of bringing the winter, and this is that season of the year. And so we're enjoying it. I want to share with you a little bit of a missions update this morning before we look at God's word. And I want to share with you what God is doing around the Northeastern District through the ministry of Delta Lake. Uh, in the last 95 years, Delta Lake has changed from a tent city to a year-round ministry to an expanding approach. And so let me give you a few pictures of what that means. Well, the pictures are on a table back there. Let me share Let me share then four things that I want you to go away with when we talk about a missions update that relates to what's happening at Delta Lake. Whether you've ever been there or not, in the last um, 40 years, since Haven Camps started, Haven camps have become a major focus of value in the ministry of Delta Lake. So what are Haven camps? Haven camps are for people who are special needs oriented, who have learning disabilities, who have potentially birth defect issues that relate to their ability to learn or to, to uh, adapt. Whenever I think of Haven campers, I think of a young man uh, I don't remember how old he was, who used to sit there, and I'm looking at Claudine because you probably remember this. He'd get a ball in his hands, and he'd say, I've got the ball. <laughs> but there came a point when he passed, and Delta Lake received the ball because some of the resources that he had came back to Delta Lake to support the ministry that he's carried on. So what is Haven Camp? Haven Camp is actually five weeks in the summer, six weekends in the year, in which there is special emphasis on reaching people who have special needs. They have been termed God's forgotten. People that are often thought they're irredemptive, they're beyond reach, but they're not. They're in a place in life where God positions them, and Delta Lake has become that opening of giving them an opportunity to receive the message of Christ, and to learn of him. Um, another period of time in the life of Delta is now what is called Night to Shine, which is a special one-night event co-sponsored with the Tim Tebow Foundation in which there is a one-evening prom, if you will, big festive occasion specifically for our Haven campers. And it was held on the, the Friday that relates to Valentine's Day. It wasn't the 14th of February. It was actually a couple of days before that. But that day, uh, about 230 special needs people, without charge, without expense to them, were brought to the Mohawk Valley Community College for an evening of enjoying festivity and being the kings and queens of the prom. Each one of them got a, got a crown and a corsage and a festivity 
recognizing them. So you say, well, why do you do that? Why should Delta Light be involved in that kind of ministry? Because every person, every person is of value to God. God loves them, whether they are to this world lovable or not. And we as Christians are called upon to love one another and to care for those who would be otherwise forgotten. And so over the course of a summer, I think uh, there, the expectation is about uh, 275 to 300 such Haven campers will come over the course of this summer for various Haven events, retreats, etc. One of those unique special events um, this summer will be what is called a, um, a special Haven Week. Now, we're trying not to make it sound like it's special, but it really is a special week because it is going to be for high-functioning, younger, <coughs> special needs people. Last year, it was with five campers. First time they'd held it. It was the week before family camp. So what is it going to happen this year? They're already expecting 20. There are 12 registered at this point, this early in the season. And most of these are people under the age of 30, but over about 15 or 16. And so it's a different segment than is often the case. And they are, many of them are people that are coming from their home atmosphere, not from a community facility or community house, but from a house with parents to come to Haven Camp for a special week. And instead of living in the lodge for the week, they're actually going to live in the chalets and have a camp experience like 12 to 15 year olds would have during a week of youth camp. They're going to go out on the boat. And one of them who is coming brought on a very cold, windy February 12th for the night to shine, he brought his swimsuit with him because he wanted to go swimming at Delta Lake during Haven Camp, but he can't do it on the February the 12th, but he will be coming back for that special week because that's what he's looking forward to. So why is that important? Because people who are otherwise unlovable to the world are loved by God. People who are open to hearing God's message in, in simple ways, responding to God's love, and we have an opportunity for those who are on staff, like Brianna was last year, to share God's love, to show it in special ways to touch people at a point where they can receive the message. A second area that I want to relate to you, very, very significant. The history of Double Lake has always been around family camp. It started there 95 years ago. Uh, family camp is usually uh, over 4th of July weekend, wherever it falls, or 4th of July week. This year, it's going to be June the 26th to July the 6th, which is a Thursday to a Saturday. And the, on the Thursday is July the 4th. Amongst other things, uh, one of the, main, one of the plen plenary speakers, one of the main speakers, is going to be um, Dr. Tim Crouch, who is the head of Alliance Missions all over the world. Tim and Shelley were amongst those who early went into Russia and opened up Russia and the ministry in Russia to Alliance Missions. And now he is in charge of Alliance Missions all over the world. So Tim and Shelley are coming for the opening weekend. And the second part of the week is um, Jeff Quinn, who is a kid that grew up here in the Northeastern District from Auburn. And Jeff is going to be uh, one of the leading speakers. And then on the 4th of July that evening is a concert, the 30th year since they first came, 30 years since the King's Brass was there the first time. This happens to be they're coming back for a 4th of July concert uh, on that evening. We'd love to have you come. And there's material back there on the table about that. So, Haven Camp's a special one. Why do we do that? Because it's important to love those who the world sees as unlovable. Family Camp, why do we do that? Because families are worth investing in. Youth Camps, all focused in one week. One week this year in which it'll be uh, the groups from grades 3 through 6 and grade 7 through 12, 
in a concentrated effort at ministering to young people at their point of need. As of Friday night was the close of early discount registration. There were already 120 signed up for this summer. And that was where the breaking point came. That was better than what has been normal. Why is that? Why are young people important? Because God has found a way in the course of youth camps to call out and energize young people to serve him. Youth camps are an opportunity for young people to get away. And while they get away, they draw from the Lord, they receive new guidance and direction, and young people are called into ministry. Young people are challenged as to where their focus needs to go forward. Special time of decision-making when kids are away from the normal pressures and have an opportunity to, to serve the Lord. There's a fourth thing that I want to share with you this morning that I was in the, in the PowerPoint, and that is there are opportunities for churches like the Waverly Christian and Missionary Alliance Church to be involved with us. Coming up in the month of May is a men's retreat focused specifically on men learning or discovering in an outdoor atmosphere what it is to grow in the Lord and to be men of God. And that's going to be May 4 and 5. And uh, that men's retreat will have uh, Jason Romano, who is a uh, producer for Sports Spectrum Radio out of Moody, Moody Radio, who will be the main speaker for that event. That's a great opportunity. Uh, the next weekend, or a couple of weekends later, there is a, a work weekend in which a number of uh, people are coming. In fact, a group from the uh, Southside Alliance Church in, in uh, Elmira will be coming to help us on that work weekend in which we have a series of projects to get ready for the summer and the ministries that are ahead. So there's a way that you can come and learn, a way that you can come and participate, volunteer, help in a project. I don't even know what the projects are going to be that week, but anyway, whatever. And then there's a way that you can also participate because we are on another anniversary coming up. This is 45 years shortly since the main lodge was built. It hardly seems possible that it's that old, but it's coming up on 45 years. Much of the um, ceiling, the lighting, the uh, window treatments, the furniture is original to its construction 45 years ago. And there are some serious needs for some updated and changes and a, basically a wholesale cleaning of the main lodge to deal with some mold and mildew that has come in over the time. And so that is a huge undertaking, but it's a big project, but an important one at updating to get ready for a next century of ministry at Delta Lake. And so right now we have a privilege of telling you about a matching gift that we have received. Um, a group that will give $25,000 dollar for dollar for what individuals give towards supporting that project of updating and um, dealing with the mold and mildew. That means tearing out all of the carpeting and removing the ceiling and putting in new ceilings and new carpeting, power washing the building as a kind of a 45th anniversary celebration of a building that has served us well. This is a great opportunity. That means if you were to give um, $50 or $100, it would be matched by this organization giving an equal amount. So all of a sudden, your gift is doubled. That may be a project that you folks at the Waverly Christian and Missionary Alliance Church would say, oh, we'd like to take that on. Maybe that's something we can help participate in. The cost for updating that building is better than uh, $70,000. So they're estimated between seventy dollars and $75,000. But our goal is to help find a way to let people know there are ways for you to involve yourselves, ways to participate, ways that you can say, I want to be a part of this, coming to one of the camps, sending your young people to youth camps, <clears throat> encouraging others to come for one of the retreats or programs, participating in a volunteer event, or helping out with a project to extend the ministry of Delta Lake into a new century of ministry coming up. I'll be around after the service if I can help answer questions. Be glad to do so. Where is Delta Lake? Where is Delta Lake? Delta Lake is in Rome, New York. That's a question that I assume too often, and I should say it up front. So Delta Lake is actually a man-made lake built in the 1917-1919 time frame. 
that flooded a valley in order to do flood control for the Mohawk River and the Erie Canal, now New York State Barge Canal. Um, with the snowfall we've had, you can understand why flood control would be important because it will block off the water and keep it from flooding downstream as the snow runoff or the snow uh, melt now happens. So that's how it came into being. The camp was purchased by the Northeastern District in 1923. So that's why it's history. And we've held family camp, now youth camps for the last 50, 60 years, uh, haven camps, and a year-round program. And uh, so that's, that's what Delta Lake is. It is our Christian and Missionary Alliance. Uh, camp Conference Center in Rome, New York. As I say, there's a table on the back. We'd be glad to answer questions and uh, talk about that. My role at Delta Lake is I was the director 30 years ago when she was a teenager and on staff. Um, now my son, Steve Clark, is the executive director, finishing six years this, this spring. And so we're glad to be back there. My wife and I um, just live two blocks away in the community next door and have a cottage. We've had a cottage there about 20 years. And so we feel like we've gone back home after having done other things. My role with the camp is really just uh, being a stewardship consultant, helping God's people understand what's God called them to do with the resources they've, they've received.